wide receiver and during your freshman year, you transitioned after your freshman year adjusted into a safety. How was that process for you and how do you think that's sort of going to help you coming into the NFL? Um, the transition was worse. Um, it was a lot of work for me. Um, I was going the coverage skills, tackling. I was, I, need, I was rough. I couldn't do any of it, really. And it was just a process of getting better every day, improving every day. And I think it's going to help me out in the future because playing receiver and playing quarterback in high school, I kind of get a feel for what an offense is going to do, how a receiver likes to run his routes. And, um, yeah, it will definitely help me in the future. Thanks, Devon. Thank you. Hank Kurz. Hey, Devon, there's been a lot of uh, NFL – Defensive backs that have come through there, many of them you played with. Have you leaned on any of them for just guidance on how to prepare the best? Uh, yes, sir. Terrell Edmonds and Chuck Clark are two that come to mind automatically. Um, they were here while I was here, and clearly they're in a league starting for two different teams. So I look up to those guys, and I just hope to be like them one day. So, yeah, I, I definitely leaned on them too, though. And how much do you think you helped yourself by being back there last year with a bunch of Cub Scouts? You know, young young guys that were just kind of learning the game and kind of having to show leadership, whether that was your style or not. How much does that you think that improved your stock? Um, overall, yes, sir. I think it improved my stock. I came back really to focus on getting the ball, uh, creating turnovers, and I, I think I did a good job of doing that this year. And you mentioned young pups. Yeah, I, I created a relationship with most of the young guys. Um, Dorian Strong comes to mind. And then Byron, White, Byron Whitehead. Sorry, I have trouble saying his name sometimes. But, yeah, I stay out there with them. If they need anything, they can ask me, and I'm always willing to answer. And is it weird to be judged by numbers in some in some respects, like how fast you are, how high you jump, how far you jump, and stuff like that? Is You know, because that doesn't take into account – you know, there's obviously tape of you playing football. Is it weird to have those things evaluate? Part yes, of your... sir. Personally, I do think it's weird, and I don't think um, if somebody tests bad, that doesn't mean they can't play football. And, yeah, football is like a whole sport. You don't just go out there and run. Well, you run full speed, obviously, but I feel like football speed and 40 speed is two completely different things. And one more. What's the weirdest question you've been asked by an NFL team in an interview? Weirdest question. Uh, do you want to play rock, paper, scissors, shoot? <laughs> <laughs> Caught me off guard. <laughs> Josh Allen. Hey, Devon, how are we doing? Good, how are you? Uh, just want to, you know, congratulate you on, you know, making it to this process and the pro days and NFL drafts. I'm just wondering, uh, you mentioned some of the players you leaned on, you've leaned into. Is there anyone specifically that at, in the NFL game today that you've kind of talked to and walked you through this pro draft process? And have you had any communications with the Buccaneers up so far? Uh, yes, I talked to the Buccaneers twice. Um, we haven't, I don't think we've gone over any film though. And then as far as leaning on somebody specifically during the draft process, uh, not really. I was more leaning towards guys going through the same process with me right now. Uh, I worked out with a good amount of DBs down in Florida, and they we're working to, for the same goal. And so I just leaned towards them. Do you know who you've spoken with with the Buccaneers, coaches, scouts, GM? I uh, It was really scouts, and I can't give you an exact name now. Yeah, yeah no worries. Just that's all I want. <laughs> okay. Hey, congratulations, and uh, – Good luck along the process. Thank you. Thank you. Stephen Hagland. Hey, Devine. Stephen here covering the uh, Rams and Chargers. Have you had a chance to meet with either of those teams since the Senior Bowl? Yes, sir. I met with them both. Both of them, okay. Uh, and obviously right now, you know, in the NFL, the whole, like, safety linebacker hybrid is kind of the new thing. Uh, have you had conversations with, uh, teams about maybe making that kind of switch and potentially playing some linebacker at the next level? Yes, sir. Majority of the teams I've talked to uh, see me in that role. Um, some of them still see me as strong safety, but a lot of them see me as a will linebacker or my line, inside linebacker. And I'm up for the challenge. Whatever team needs me to do, I'll do it. Awesome, man. Good luck throughout this process. Thank you. Matthias? Uh, Ryan, here's Matthias from Time out, Brazil. Uh, congratulations for going for the NFL draft. Uh, after after all the problems that you have in 2020, 
how good was for you like having the chance and uh, like show some skills on the pro day and having the chance for talk of like the NFL, even Zoom meetings after all the problems that the players have last year, like a lot of them don't have a pro day or a chance for a show in the preseason. How do you think that you can like say it was good having this pro day after all the problems that the other players have? Um, it was great to have today's pro day. Um, like you said, it's a lot of problems because of COVID. Uh, they didn't have the combine this year, so that's just one less opportunity that we all get. And I'm thankful Virginia Tech hosted the pro day um, last year. I remember them canceling that pro day, so I was a little worried about this one. But um, I'm glad they have it, had it, and I'm glad, I'm glad I got to showcase my skills. Thank you. Good luck during the process. Thank you. Jacob and Fonte. Hey, appreciate you taking the time out to talk to us, Divine. Uh, I'm just wondering, because you came into Virginia Tech as a wide receiver, uh, but you developed really. All right, we're losing you, Jacob. Uh, let's go to uh, Nick in Pittsburgh, and then we'll try to come back to you. Hey, Devon. So obviously Terrell Edmonds is in Pittsburgh, and he's been a pretty integral part. Have you? How much have you talked to him? And, and you know, Quickly, what are the topics? Uh, can you speak a little? Hey, Jacob, hold tight. Hey, Jacob, hold tight. We will. Uh, we'll get back to you, Nick. You want to repeat that question? Yeah. For, uh, Devon? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, Terrell Edmonds is in Pittsburgh, and you know, you said you've talked to him. Kind of, what have those conversations been like? And you know, what's he been telling you uh, throughout those conversations with him? Well, I actually haven't talked to Terrell personally in a little while. Um, since this combine started, I've really been focused on the people around me, uh, if that's coaches and the players around me. I haven't had a chance to talk to Terrell recently. But the last time I talked to him, he just told me to keep working and keep doing my thing. He, he could see me at the next level. You know, he, he kind of, he's, he's a strong safety, but, you know, you kind of have similar skill sets. You kind of step into his role. I mean, what have you kind of learned from Terrell? Um, as you were watching him at Virginia Tech and then, you know, really just, I guess, looking over what he's done. Terrell did a good job of taking care of his body. <clears throat> That's the most important thing if you want to make it in the league and stay there for a long time. And then, and also he, he lived in the film room, and that's one thing I definitely took from him because uh, watching film makes the game easier, and I learned that recently. Uh, have you met with the Steelers at all? Have you talked to them? Uh, yes, sir, I actually met with them recently. Uh, do you remember who you met with at what level? It doesn't matter. Just uh, the GM and the head coach. All right. Thank you, Devon. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, Mookie Hawkins. Divine Diablo, Mookie Hawkins, World Force Sports 1080 Buffalo. What's going on, big guy? Not much. How, how about you? I'm good, man. I'm good. 6'3", 225 in the mode of Cam Chancellor, man. We understand the difficulty of transitioning from offense to defense, but how are you able still to uh, use your size and speed to your advantage on the flip side? Uh, I feel like I can match up well with a lot of people. Uh, speed, I can stick around with receivers. Uh, size, I can stick around with tight ends and running backs. Uh, I just do it all, and I think that's going to make me a very valuable player for uh, a future team in the NFL. Absolutely, man. And just imagine like Sean Taylor walking down in the box playing that wheel right now. That's kind of like where I see you as. But um, another Hokie, Tremaine Edmonds, man. How would you uh, enjoy playing along Tremaine and uh, have the Bills been in contact with you? Yes, sir. I actually talked to the Bills, and he was talking about Tremaine Edmonds, and they see me um, like beside him at that wheel linebacker spot, and he was just making it cool Hokie thing. So, yeah, that would be really dope. That's all right, man. Hey, enjoy this process and then see you soon, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's try it again, Jacob and Fonte. All right, can you hear me now? Yes. Perfect. That's the perks of doing Zoom a car. Uh, so I was just asking, coming in from college, uh, you were recruited to play the wide receiver position but switched over to safety and uh, developed incredibly well as a tackler. So just wondering – uh, speaking to that development as a tackler, how did you go about doing that uh, and turning that into arguably one of your biggest strengths in your game? Yes, sir. Um, the thing about tackling, you don't get too many opportunities to tackle uh, your teammates in practice. But 
I would always go to the near hip, run to the near hip, and tag off. And then whenever we scrimmage, I just try to be aggressive to the ball and wrap up, squeeze, get them to the ground, most important part. Um, I think I can be a lot more aggressive when I do approach the tackle, and that'll just take my game to another level. And just a quick follow-up here. Have the Bears uh, been in contact with you? I understand their DBs coach, uh, Deshae Townsend, was down there for your guys' pro day. Yes, sir. Uh, they have been in contact with me as well. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Alex Fleming. Sir, Alex Fleming, what's son? It kind of cut out. Okay, Hi. fair enough. Um, I have a question for you. From your own perspective, uh, what is the meaning of being an enforcer? I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? Um, from your perspective, your definition, what does it mean to you on a what it means to be an enforcer. Enforcer, uh, you just strike fear in, into the other opponent. Um, they don't want to see you when they're coming across the middle of the field, and I think that's the definition. Gonzalo, did you have something for Devon? Yeah, hey, Devon, uh, first of all, congratulations for entering the NFL draft. Uh, I want to ask you, who do you like to compare your game to at the professional level? Who are your role models at, at the NFL? I actually like to watch a mix of guys just to take something from everyone. Um, Cam Chancellor was a big one that I watched just because we're similar in size. But I also watch guys like Buda Baker, Tyre Matthew, Jamal Adams. Um, I just take a little small things from everyone just to make my own type of game.